the featurings of this controller include it's got a rated voltage of 96 volts it's got an operating or working voltage range oh that just did it for me 120 volts oh has okay a max phase current or phase yeah has a max has a max phase current of 600 amps Woo. included in the control included with way too many for me as we, as we saw in the unboxing is a harness cable a USB to RS-232 serial cable and then the converter that plugs in from the controller to the serial cable basically a serial breakout cable so that's what's included with the controller what's nice and what I noticed on the specification sheet for this controller is that it features CAN bus now what the hell is a CAN bus you may ask anyway CAN bus is a communication let me speed up to what I what really want you guys to see now some controllers in this video man and matter of fact, that's the most important thing on the table right there. <clears throat> See if I can. F oh shit! Okay. Let's see. Let's get to the good part. Let's get to the good part, y'all. Technical term terminology on here. Officially, this is rated at 72 volt DC. It'll probably take a lot. A little more bit more. A little bit more. I'm not going too far. Pretty sure it's coming up soon. Uh, a little bit further. Sorry, guys. Bear with me. I wanted to show you guys something in this video. Oh, it was 12.8 kg. And then there's it's a coming up soon. in there, which is optional usage. Anyway, we're gonna have a link to purchase. This I'm trying to find. I got all this so crap really out here because I know I have so a whole bunch of these, male and female. I can't find them anywhere. On the drum mountain, and then the rest of them are M6 screw holes. I mean, the face of the drum. I can't find them shit anywhere, man. Kind of I got a, a box with all that crap there. in it. I know that you can probably buy a mount from somewhere. A little bit of Google activity will probably find your pre made map that we often tend to do. Anyway, that's what I was doing so. when uh, mind, small I was watching Kilovolt. And uh, man, he had he, he flashed this big monster on there that I to, to make your mountain plate as well as the it, uh, got me a little excited. This moment of this one individual mount is impossible. Supply I know I have a box this, so worth in mind of them the goddamn capsule. connectors and some other uh, the other, uh, the other new connectors as well. So Maybe they're in the house. That. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah. Come on, man. Hurry up and get to my thing. Fast forwards too fast. And no, I don't mind uh, giving other YouTubers. Props, man, when they showing so, good shit. This is another item that's going to be used in one of our projects that we've got coming soon. Because I ain't there yet. So just stay subscribed. We're watching. trying to get there. See this in action with that APT controller. And that's killer vote, by the way, if you don't know. But here it is. Look at that. So here we have the QS 260 17 inch by six inch 12,000 watt wheel they're rating this as so the 273 is no plate. longer the king of the hill with a motor this size and phase wise this fat this is uh, doing a lot more than 12,000 good watt. gushy mushy the like four gauge this motor was bundled with a kelly kls 8080h which has a 600a fa max phase discharge this is doing a lot more than that but anyway, let's let's move on into some of the specifications here. We've got 25 mil squared motor phase wires. So as I said, they're absolutely humongous phase wires. Got a brake disc on the motor. Bear in mind this swing arm, we've had this custom made. This is gonna be in an upcoming episode where we're converting a super bike to electric. We've had this swing arm entirely custom produced for us to fit this motor. Now, the motor speed choice, when you purchase this motor, you tell them how fast you want it to go. We told QS, who supply 99% of our motors for our builds, we want to go as fast as possible. So, 
That's what we said to them, fast as possible. <laughs> the magnet height on this is 70 mil. We've got 16 pairs of magnets and it reckons there's a max speed on this of 140 kilometers per hour. The required rear full width is 230 mil. There's two types of temperature sensors in there, the KTY83 and the 122. And it's water resistant IP54. Beyond that, they're not telling you much else. They are not telling you much else. There's not much else to say, truth be told. It's an absolutely humongous motor. It weighs the world, the universe even. I'm saying, and I'm putting my hat into the ring and saying this, at, as it stands, off the shelf, motorcycle, or for that matter, bike, hub motors, this is probably the biggest hub motor in the world. And I'd love everyone to jump in the comments and to prove me wrong. I'd love to see some bigger hub motors, more powerful. And that's that. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, if you're an old school dude like myself, you'll remember the little rascals back in the day. And there was a little kid that used to always say, Remarkable! Remarkable! <laughs> God damn it! Alright y'all, well like I said, man, uh, just, I just want to show you guys that motor. That's the only way I can show it to you. Good, gushy, mushy. Alright? Uh, that being said, stay tuned. Y'all see we are out here in the lab today. Meaning we plan to get something done. Uh, as soon as I can find my damn uh, other connectors. I really need those right about now. Uh, shoot. They got to be somewhere. I'm pretty sure I put them in their own box. And uh, due to everything always being helter-skelter out here, this is what happens. Matter of fact, uh, I'm going to have to go look in the house. Uh, because I got some plastic bins in the house that are full of parts. Man, let me tell you, man. It doesn't take long to accumulate a lot of ish. I got a lot of ish now. I'm not saying it's good ish, but ish nonetheless. I even got uh, I even got some tires out there, man. They ain't just car tires out there. I got some bike tires out there. It's gonna be old knobbies. Do you know I had a nerve to put those big knobs on Frank one time? <laughs> Yeah, man, I put them knobs on Frank, and uh, it felt like I was riding on a square. Absolutely, man. It felt like I was riding on a big ass square. Bloom, 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 bloom. And uh, yeah, Frank is still around, y'all. He laying dormant up underneath that cover, and uh, I got plans for Frank, man. Ain't no doubt about it. Frank is coming back. But uh, this damn thing here, as you all know, been taking up a lot of my time. Yeah. I waste a lot of time on this thing right here. But do know that it is, uh, yeah, it's doing what it's doing. It is well worth it. Alright fellas, that's it. I'ma get back at y'all. Take it easy. Deuces, we out. There will be a new video going up. Damn, that spider way up up there. It's kind of embarrassing. Will be a new video going up this evening. Peace, we out.